We're in Tennessee on Highway 52. It is gorgeous. Tennessee, Tennessee Scenic Byway. Coming up on an old timey store, Historic Rugby Unincorporated. This looks like the place. R.M. Brooks, tourist info. Pretty cool looking, huh? So we can park this thing and find out what's going on. R.M. Brooks General Store. Here in Tennessee. I know it's been here a lot of years. Looks to be a U.S. post office as well. Let's go inside and take a look. Yes, we're open. Look at that, original post office stuff. This is fantastic. Honestly, like stepping back in time. This is amazing. You know I'm coming for the little mini bike. Suzuki 100, love the gold helmet. All right, <laughs> pretty cool, right? This place has been here since the early 20s. Bob Brooks Memorial Breaks. Little pot belly stove. And I just ordered the bologna sandwich. Yeah, it's a US post office. Let's just see the bologna sandwich when I get it. All right, I think that works. Kind of cool, been there since the 20s. It's a US post office in Rugby, Tennessee. I'm gonna take some photos. You can get the big rig here. All right. How long have you been coming here? Ah, uh, shoot for a long time. I'm 75. Long time? A long yeah. time. Yeah. This is your rig? What are you hauling? Um, uh, they can strap over the limbs. Steel. Steel, okay. Yeah. And what'd you get? But we got uh, 14 of them, so we can haul lumber logs, whatever. Lumber logs, whatever. And what the, what'd you get to G? Cheese. Cheese sandwich. Yeah. Awesome. Safe yeah, travels, my friend. About the only place you can get good cheese anymore over here. Yeah. That round cooked cheese. You grew up around here? Uh, over in Scott County. How far is that? Uh, about 20 miles. That's it, yeah. Awesome. And then 
I come through here about once, twice a week. And you're Glenn. Yeah. Glenn, I'm Jeff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Glad to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, from Colorado. Are you? Yeah. Long way out there. It is. The car, we came from California a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I like that car. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you sir. I like this store. What? You restore it yourself? Hey, I had some friends help me. Yeah. They did a lot of the work, all the work. I just get to enjoy it. Thanks, man. Safe travels. Right. Have a good day now. You too. Making friends in the 55 with Glenn. Big rig driver, RM Brooks. Take a few more pictures and uh, get my bologna sandwich. All right, we got a few pictures. Clean off some books this morning. Dirty, dirty. All right, it says, it says here, this place was established in 1917, designated National Register of Historic Places. Community landmark and stepping back in time. Hey, I said that before. Heading back inside. Hey, man, take American Express here. Get my bologna sandwich in a little bit. I'll show you. RM Brooks. Say cheese. Get my picture. No, 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 no. I look in bad today. My Come on, Patty, you get sandwich. Out of here. You're the best. There you go. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Nice time to eat, all right. That's it. RM Brooks General Store. Established in 1970, super cool on the National Register of Historic Places. And now we're off to, to Cave City, Kentucky, and Wigwam Village Number Two in Mammoth Caves National Park. Driving the 55, the hood bird. Tennessee Scenic Byway, Cave City bound. Kentucky unbridled spirit I think that has something to do with the Kentucky Derby made it to Kentucky in the 55 we're in Cave City Kentucky just got some pictures of the Caveland Motel not only is Mammoth Caves National Park here in Cave City Kentucky but also historic wigwam village number two and they're not really wigwams they're more like teepees but the owner back then didn't like the name teepee so he did what he was gonna do sleep in a wigwam we've been to holbrook arizona and we've been to riverside california
still kind of cool. Sleep in a wigwam. Guests only. Let's get some pictures while we're here. All right, we got some cool pictures, I think, I hope. Yeah, these are franchised across the country. Wigwam number two. Twenty dollars to drive through. Okay, we're not driving through. Sorry, I'm a cheapskate, but we're not driving through for twenty bucks. That's silly. All right, we got some pictures. Historic Wigwam Village Number Two here in Cave City. Now we're off to uh, Mammoth Caves National Park. Beautiful winding road in front of us. We're in Cave City, Kentucky. We just left Mammoth Caves. And the closest hotel, motel, is Rock Cabin Camping. Rock Cabin Camping. It was built in 1928. Never stayed in a rock cabin before. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out. Rock Cabin Camping here in Cave City, right by Mammoth Caves National Park. they are rock cabin camping look at those cute little rock cabins like we're here. Let's go check in. Yeah, this is Ralph, the owner and proprietor of, of <laughs> the Cabin Rock Cabin Camping. camping. Yeah, Rockcabincamping.com. Right. Yeah, and how long has it been around? It, well, it's been here since 1928. How long have you been? Uh, I've been here for 12 years. 12 years. Me and my wife, we run it and do, do everything, right? As you do, you have to. But yeah, they were built for visitors going to Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave just become popular. Okay. So, people were starting to travel. Built in 1920, the geodes are built into it. Yeah. I say it's done pretty well. Yeah, that's uh, calcite, I believe. Yeah, and it's got the, uh, like a reverse pointing. They call it great bank pointing. Very cool. Little, little flower pot built into it. Not the pot, but the, the whole Oh, thing. yeah. <laughs> The holder, love that. This is my cabin. I'm staying in cabin number three. Favorite number now. How do you like that? <laughs> All right. Okay, I'll show you where. Real quick. Yeah. I mean, well, oh, I gotta redo this. I gotta redo oh yeah, this. fantastic. Yeah. So I got a refrigerator for my beverages. There you are. Yeah. All right. Shower in the back over here. Yeah. Little. Exactly. It's a beautiful morning out. Yeah. We're out. The camera was overheating yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Tell me a little bit more about this place. Built in 1928. 28, yep. Yeah, for tourists going to Mammoth Cave. Mammoth Cave was just becoming popular. Right? And Mammoth Caves is? Is what? The longest cave in the world? Mile, well, mile down the road to the boundary. And this, this is the closest hotel motel to, to Mammoth yeah, Caves, pretty, right? Pretty well, yes, sir. I it's kind of cool. One more bed and breakfast right before there, but we yeah, don't count that. We're close. We're close. Well, I can't claim it if it ain't true. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but they were built. Travelers going to Mammoth Cave in their whatever 19, you know, 20s uh, Model Ts starting to travel, and they were built by one guy supposedly in 28 for 78 dollars or something like that. He got paid for doing all these. Oh, unbelievable! And it's local uh, limestone. We got some geodes and different uh, different types of rocks, onyx and that that were uh, what accent stones, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. 
And the fun part, if you walk down, start here, there's quite a few. By the time you get to the end, not so many. He probably had a little pile. You know, I said, oop, hey, I'm running out. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so it's running out of them. They say there's a few different ones, Cabin One. And tell us about the thing on the yeah, uh, above Cabin One. I don't know a whole lot about that one, but it is. It's like, uh, I don't know, a sun or an eye. I'm not sure which one it is. Oh, like the uh, evil eye in uh, Lord of the Rings? Old, uh, Indian, possibly Indian and the sun, one or the other. But uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. But, uh, I have to do some research on that one. Yeah, with the geode in there, very cool. Yeah. Okay. All right, yeah, definitely time for you to do some research. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I say, it's, uh, people been staying here for, you know, 100 years almost. Almost. Some of them remodeled. Well, I was trying originally wanting to get them all remodeled, but it's uh, taken a lot longer than I expected. Are you going to do anything for the 100-year anniversary? I want to try to do something, yeah. Very good. Will you, yeah, definitely let me know. Yeah, I will. I'm going to say if I could tell you, I want to try maybe get a whole bunch of pre-30s and line them all up over here. That would be fantastic. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm glad you're having a good time here. You know, you're heading down to Corvette Museum, or Corvette Track, right? Yeah, yeah. that's Corvette oh, Museum, the track, and, the, and Bowling Green, and then uh, Holly Performance. Oh, yeah. And to see a buddy of mine over there. Nice. So, yes, and it's a rock, rock cabin, cabin camping. camping. Yep. Rockcabincamping.com. Yeah. Check them out. Give them a call. Talk to Ralph. <laughs> Okay, hey, he'll, good seeing you. He'll take good care of you. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks right, again, Ralph. And Harvey. And Har don't forget Harvey, Harvey, the attack dog. Get him, Harvey, give him. Harvey, come here. There you go, Rock Cabin Capping. <laughs> Check him out here in Cave City, Kentucky. Mammoth Caves right up the road. Over hey, look yeah, at that thing. Got the, a mile got the, that way. Just a mile that way. Yeah. Adios, amigos. Hey, thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. <laughs>